His first big league homer and inside the park bomb in Washington. Can you believe that? The long pause. Now the kick. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a slider. He has tied the major league record for strikeouts in a game with 20 strikeouts. Randy Johnson, Kerry Wood, Roger Clemens, and now Max Scherzer are the only pitchers in the history of this game to fan 20 in a game. Malone looking for his first hit of the year. Oh. He drives one. Deep left field. Back goes Upton. Back near the wall. It's out of here. <laughs> Bartolo has done it. The impossible has happened. This is one of the great moments in the history of baseball. Bartolo Colon has gone deep. There's another drive. Deep down oh the line, goodness. he crushed another one. Up into the billboard for another three-run homer. That's sick. He's driven in eight runs today. His third home run of the afternoon. Goodness gracious, Mookie yeah. Betts. What a day. Doesn't get any better than that. Four for four, three home runs, eight RBIs. Every time he touches one arm. From Flushing, Queens, baseball and from the home of the Mets, Georgia City Field. Today, the third and final New game in this three-game series Mets. between the Oakland A's and the New York Mets. It's interleague baseball on the show. Robert Kesselman, a California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, I love watching this guy pitch, and particularly when he's got runners in scoring position. He's a guy that gets better when he has runners on base. So I'm looking forward to seeing if he gets in a jam. What does he do to get out of these jams where his numbers look so good with runners in scoring position? Here's Rajay Davis now. And this is a good looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. Now, here's the pitch. Taking all the way, it's three and one now. These Mets, Harold, as they take the field here today, they come in off another victory last time out, and now they're winners of eight of their last nine ball games. Well, Matt, they're playing good ball. If you look at the standings, they got a nice, comfortable lead, but comfortable can be. It can be trouble. You've got to stay focused, keep your foot on the pedal, and just continue to put that opponent away because this little lead can dwindle quick. Well, that will bring a smile to a manager's face every single time. First hitter of the inning just squares it up and bounces it over the fence. Even if it stays in the yard, that's a double either way. Digging in, Marcus Semyon looking to stay hot. He's been a real threat at the plate the last week or so. No one out with a runner at second. This one skied out toward right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. And here's a shot of the athletic starting lineup for this one. Harold, what's the key for them today? Well, Matt, they're not going to run. I mean, they don't put a lot of pressure on you trying to steal bases. They'll take the extra base if they need to, but they don't run much. They're a team that sits there. They're going to be a lot base to base, rely a lot on the power. This is a total contrast to what we've been seeing throughout the league the last couple of years. Here's Chris Davis now. He's always a long ball threat, currently fourth in the American League in that department. Fastball called strike one and two Matt in last night's game. This is the situation right here. They didn't do a very good job driving guys in with runs in scoring position right here. You got a guy in scoring position. You got to capitalize and drive in for swung at a bad pitch last night. Get a good pitch to drive right here and he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. A great job there by this power hitter known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. Misses. Ball 2. 
fly ball out toward left center field. And Landerson will make the catch and the inning is over. So one run here on one hit no errors and no one left on base. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The A's lead this one one to nothing. Daniel Mengden is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the A's. What's your take on him Dan. Hey this guy has a four pitch repertoire right and those are a lot of nice options to have you can go hard soft you can go in and out and anytime you have four pitches if you could throw them for strikes you have the big advantage. Here's the shortstop now Jose Reyes he comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. Reyes awaiting the three one. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here as they're trying to get that run right back here in the first. Well, there's only a one run cushion to play with. So he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here. Go ahead run comes to the plate and there are no outs. This could be a very interesting inning. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. Hey, that's a good job right there. You very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Seems like he's really having a tough time finding that rhythm right here in the first inning. He walked a guy, now he's falling behind this hitter. He better figure it out quick. He's set. Here's the 3 1. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. And there goes Reyes to right field and way out of here. Look at this thing go. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A two run blast to straight away right field number 11 for him on the season and the Mets move out to a 2 1 lead. an old saying that the harder you throw the farther it goes how about this good fastball and this ball is absolutely tattooed see you later in now David Wright Looks at a changeup that catches the corner. So let's take a peek at the officiating crew in this one. Behind the plate is Kenny Jansen. Matt, Jansen's going to remind you of those brave games we used to watch with Maddox and Glavin and Smoltz were pitching because he's got a wide zone. He's going to take us back to the 90s, calling balls off the plate. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. HR, how do they send their fan base home happy here today? Matt, this is a scary lineup. They've got power and they have speed. They score runs in all different ways. They hit the ball in the ballpark and they score on balls in the gap when you have a runner at first base. That's what speed, power combination can do. This is a very tough lineup. Digging in now, Curtis Granderson. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. And he 
plays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great. Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. And Granderson swings and misses that time as he's down on strikes for route number two. He showed right there why having a good changeup is so valuable. Two and two, and he flips one up there that the bottom really falls out at the last minute. It's so hard to pick up, and it's even harder to make good contact with. Into the box, Neil Walker. As he sends it on the ground to first, Canna ranges to his right. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two-run home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now two to one New York. Now at the plate, Stephen Vogt. He brings a rather ugly 230s batting average into this one. A breaking ball over the outside corner for strike two. All even at two and two. Here it is. Drilled on the ground is short. Right there is Reyes. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Well, let's take a look at the best defense brought to you by Majestic. And these guys can really defend. All you got to do is look at the air column. They're in the top five fewest airs in the league. They don't beat themselves very often. You're going to have to earn it to beat them. Here's Trevor Plouffe standing in. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Granderson going back. That one is out of here. This game is tied. So a solo shot here to left center field number 10 for him on the year as the A's have fought back to make this a 2 2 ball game. Well that's why you hear people say work down in the zone. This is such a difficult pitch to hit and if the balls up a little bit these great hitters. They touch it, it's going out of the ballpark. Right there is a prime example. Into the box now, Adam Rosales. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Well, he had really struggled in this cold streak he's been in right here, so that's a welcome single. He watched right, his Hilder. average plummet Matt. below 230. Sure. Standing in now, Matt Joyce. Big breaking Matt, ball and a beauty. One and two. That's pretty good break right there, breaking all the way across the zone. That's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Bruce. Gone! A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Eighth home run on the season for him. And it gives the A's a four to two lead. Well, he won his last start, but he didn't give up any long balls. He's already given up two here, so he's got his work cut out for him if he's going to get the W on this one. He's going to have to start keeping the ball in the yard for starters. Stepping in now, Daniel Mengden. As he loops under the ball and pops it up, Rivera has a play. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The center fielder number 11, Rajay Davis. Trying to Davis. pick things up where he left off, Rajay Davis. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. 
A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. Pretty lucky to get away with that one. There's not a situation ever where you want to throw a high changeup, so I think he'll try to make an adjustment with the next one he throws. Out in front a bit as this is sent on the ground to right at third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. On now to the bottom of the second, it's the A's four and the Mets two. Here's Jay Bruce now. He comes in currently tied for third in home runs on the team. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot there for Jay Bruce. Number 14 on the season as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. you beat the shift you hit it over the shift of course you can't play guys up in the sky so he lifts this one up and out of here in now Lucas Duda and the changeup is way low that time Ready on three and one. Here it comes. This is line to left. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Now that's some old school hit right there. He stayed with it and shot it right between the third baseman and the shortstop. The old 5.5 hole. Into the box now, Rene Rivera, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. A runner at second, nobody out. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time, one and two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. Again a one two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. All right time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Oakland A's. They have made so many errors. They lead the American League in errors and it's hard to watch. You would think that they'd be more consistent, but they haven't got in any kind of flow or any kind of group. We may see a defensive coach come up and really help them out because they've really struggled. The pitcher, Robert Gesellman, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. A fastball right over the outside corner. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? 
ready with another 2 2. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Well, you know, AL pitchers must love pitching in NL ballparks because all of a sudden they're only facing eight legitimate hitters in the lineup instead of nine. Kind of makes you wonder why any free agent pitcher would ever decide to pitch in the AL, doesn't it? Spin and a throw back to second. Into the box now. Jose Reyes called strike two. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Dribbled up the line. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Two out here and a runner at second. A throw behind the runner at second. Hit out towards second. Oh, what a stop. The throw to first. Got him. That was exceptional. He got the out and prevented the runner from having a chance to score. Three thumbs up here in the booth following this gorgeous play at second base. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Back at City Field in Flushing, Queens, as we are ready for the third inning in this one. Back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as the Cal Berkeley product Marcus Semyon is the first to bat in the inning. Here's the one and one delivery. Swing and there it goes. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to left. Number 13 for him on the year. And it's now five to three. Nothing more demoralizing than giving up three home runs in the first three innings of a game. There's having a guy's number, and then there's absolutely owning him. This could be the latter. Into the box, Chris Davis. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Matt, this could be a real special end. They've already hit a home run here, and now the real power is starting to come to the plate. We might be in for a light show. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Line drive to left, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. That ball's right in his wheelhouse. You may as well take out a tee, set the ball right there, and say hit it as hard as you can, because that's what he did. Mark Canna. Stepping in now. Mark Hanna in for strike two. That changeup for the second strike right there is a great sign. When you're struggling like he has early in this game, you got to get in a rhythm. The changeup, off-speed pitches, all those put your mechanics in right place to throw strikes. Well, I'll tell you, if he wants to turn things around, that pitch is one he's going to have to start locating a lot better. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. A oh, double play ball to second. Four, six, three, and they turn the double play. Made him throw a lot of pitches in that at bat, but he'll take the double play as a trade off for sure. Striding in once again, Stephen Vogt, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Two out, nobody on. No oh, offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hey. 
Change up called a strike and he comes back even at two and two. Well that change up right there sets up a lot of things. Now it counts two and two. He can come back in with a fastball. Let's go. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. The A's strike for one on the solo homer. We play two and a half. It's now 5-3 athletics. Ready for another chance? Michael Conforto. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. On the ground to the right side. Scooped up on the backhand. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. So one gun in the inning now, and it's time for a look at the standings in the AL West. You just see where the A's find themselves entering play here today. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And a good 0-2 pitch there, but right able to lay off to make it a ball and two strikes. Well, it looks like he tried to waste one and get him to chase it. He didn't, but you're still sitting pretty. Now you're one and two, and you showed him the high fastball. Three. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the now pitcher's batting. favor, but it Cut wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes Grand is a really time. tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Standing in now. Curtis Granderson and Granderson trying to work his way aboard he's got it to three and one now this is a good at bat so far here with two away if you're going to go down one two three at least make the guy work for it he's doing that and he's even got himself into a good hitters count now fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Simeon with a great slide. He gathers the throw. It's there, and he's out. Nothing doing here this half. Three innings complete. Oakland is on top in this one, 5-3. to three. Here's Trevor Plouffe standing in as we begin the top of the fourth. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Here's the one and two delivery. A shot down the first baseline. And it's through for a base hit. They'll have the leadoff man aboard to start the inning. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking oh, too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. Into the box now, Adam Rosales tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. He's set, and the one-two pitch. Takes this the other way to right, and that's in there. Base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Well, Matt, this inning just got interesting. It's got a chance to be pretty big. You start the inning with a double, and now you get the single, and you're sitting first and third, and here they come. Into the box, Matt Joyce. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. Flat out locked him up with a changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. 
Digging in to try it again. Daniel Mengden comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Tag from Walker's there, and he's out at second base. I think that steal attempt was all about trying to stay out of the inning ending double play. But now there are two outs, so that makes getting that run home from third a lot more difficult. That's the risk you take. Five runs, eight hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Hit hard, but fouled toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. Obviously, he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Here's Neil Walker. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready with the 3 0 pitch. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Show right. some great patience 19. and discipline making the pitcher labor to start the game. Ooh. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. In now, Jay Bruce. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. I ran that one in on him a bit as this time it's tapped foul at home plate. That's a nice job of hitting right there. That breaking ball's down and away. You got two strikes on you just to foul it off and get a piece of it. Really nice concentration. Here's another one two. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. To second for one. Return throw is in time. And what do you know they do get the double play. Nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff walk. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. Stepping in now, Lucas Duda. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Mets go down quickly. Still a two-run deficit. It's five to three. Here's Rajay Davis now. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Davis waits on the 1 1. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. And they can't run it down. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And another foul ball. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Oh, this one bounces off the pitcher. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. You want to talk about speed? Watch him here on this isolation replay. Is he flying or what? I love how smooth he runs. And he just bursts it down the line. Standing in now, Marcus Semyon. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. And it looks now like a right hander's begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Again, he sends it out of play. 
the three two one more time hits this one hard the other way and a backhanded reach at first but he can't flag it down and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now well oh, another number hit you talk about a pitcher Chris who threw well and got David. a win in his last start total opposite right here he hasn't thrown the ball very well they've been hitting him pretty good and at the moment he stands to be the guy that's going to get the loss into the box Chris Davis there's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field So a three run blast to straight away left 24 home runs for him on the season as they open it up to eight to three. Well with no outs you can afford to give up a single but you can't afford to give up a three run homer. He just caught too much of the plate. Now he's back to the drawing board. No outs and the inning is already an ugly one. And now here comes Met skipper Terry Collins out to home plate and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. Rafael Montero will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Number 50. Wilmer Flores will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Wilmer Flores. Into the box now. Mark Canna. Well hit but also well foul into the seats and left. Three runs already home here. A little bouncer but it gets foul. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Under it is Granderson one away. The batter. Patrick. Stepping in and Steven ready for another shot. Vogt. Steven Vogt 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. The payoff pitch one more time and he looks at one that misses and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Wow. All I know is these guys don't need any more help to get on base. Believe it or not that's the first walk they've gotten. They've done all their damage the hard way. See if they can add to it here. Eight runs 11 hits and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. And this one's in the dirt and a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. And a sliders in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at and if not it's ball four anyways. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Now batting. Digging in and looking Second for more. Baseman. Adam Rosales. Adam Rosales. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. He's set and the two two pitch. In the dirt here. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. He's set. Here's the three and two. And here's a ball hit in the air. And Reyes will put this one away and the side is retired. But the A's put up a three spot here thanks to the three run home run. On to the bottom of the fifth. It's the A's eight and the Mets three. Digging in for his second at bat, Rene Rivera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Nice job of fighting that ball off right there. Two strikes on it, he throws a breaking ball down the way, and you just put enough on it to stay alive. 
And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. Great pitch right there on 0 and 2. Purpose pitch, right? Running that ball in off the plate. Now that opens up that whole strike zone, and you're not quite as comfortable as a hitter. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Another 1 2 delivery. Sent on the ground out to second. Rosales scoops it up. Throw on to first by Rosales. Gets him. One gone. First baseman number four. Now batting Wilmer, Wilmer Flores. Flores. First at bat of the game for him here in the fifth as he was a late entrant into this one. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Bases are empty, one man out. Hey. Off speed pitch, good for strike two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Now this is foul tipped right into the catcher's glove as he holds on to preserve the strikeout and there are two away. I think that curveball is a big reason why he's able to turn things around in this start after a rough beginning. It's got some good bite to it. So that tells me he's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front. Really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to. In now Jose Reyes. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Ray is awaiting the three one. Takes a good curveball at the knees. That's so difficult to hit. Hard fastball and a nasty curveball. You just have to sit on one or the other and hope he throws the one you're looking for. Hot shot on the ground is short. Simeon's got it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three. Can't make any headway into an 8 3 deficit. Here's Matt Joyce now. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. Ready to deliver the one and two. Hot shot down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. The one and two pitch. Swing and a looper to left. And it was sinking on him a bit, but he's able to run it down anyway for the first down. The pitcher, Daniel. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Daniel Mengden getting to hit for himself here, largely due to the big cushion he's got to work with. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. To two oh balls and two strikes now. I don't know if that was discipline or whether he's just not swinging the bat at all, but hey, at least he's making the pitcher throw a few more pitches. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Number 11. Rajay Davis. Digging in to try it again. Rajay Davis, two for three with a double on his line so far. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a hot shot toward third, but pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. A's are gone in order, but they lead it by a count of eight to three. Digging in once again, Michael Conforto. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. And we see some action in the A's bullpen now. It's both a left-hander and a righty that start to loosen up. In there, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Michael Conforto becomes the first out in the bottom of the sixth inning. 
Stepping in now, David Wright. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. Ball three. Three and two now. Waiting next is Curtis Granderson. Grounded to third. Poof has it. Throw to first is in time to take care of right, and that's the second out. Center fielder. Here's the center three. fielder, Curtis Granderson. He's 0 for 2 Granderson. with a strikeout in this one. Hitters count now. Here's the 2 and 1. And it misses 3 and 1 now. Neil Walker would be next if they can keep this inning alive. A breaking ball over the outside corner for strike two. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean, it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner, and he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. Ground ball right side, straight into the shift. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. Can't make any headway into an 8-3 deficit. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. The A's are on top in this one as we get set for the seventh, but before it gets underway, let's take a look at our game summary to this point. Digging in and looking for more, Marcus Simeon. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Fouled back. Here's another 0-2. Sliced hard on the ground, fielded cleanly by Walker, and the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. On left fielder, number two. Chris Here's Chris Davis, Davis now. He's off to a fast start in this one, two for two, including a home run. One out, nobody on. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Conforto will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the now second out of the inning. First baseman, Mark. Ready Canna. once again, Mark Canna. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Boy, good That's fight it. on the slider, and it just missed inside. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Oh, got him looking at the two-seamer, and that'll end it. One, two, three, go the A's. But they lead it by a count of eight to three. Liam Hendricks gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Liam Hendricks. Here's Neil Walker comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone. See if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time. See if he chases it again. Swing and a little tapper. I like the call for the two strike changeup. You got to make a better pitch. You got away with one right there. Drilled to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The right 
batter number 19. Here's Jay Bruce hey. now. He comes in Ooh. one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Looks like a right hander's gotten up to throw now in the Oakland pen. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Hey. Takes a knee high fastball. Full count. Three and two. I like what he was trying to do there with the two seam fastball, but that's a tough pitch to command. When you throw a glove side like that, it's really tough to get it to come back to the corner. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. He just could not keep it fair. And another pitch is hit foul as the battle continues here. Another payoff pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw gets him, two down. The pitcher number 50. One Ligaris will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Two out, nobody on. And that's in there, three and one. Three balls, one strike. And a full count now, three and two. Full count, three, two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Well, when you go with a slider there in a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Set to deal. Here's the 3 1. And this one will be out of play off to the left. All right, 3 2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. On, this is skied out toward right. And Joyce will put this one away, and the inning is over. Met strand one. Can't make any headway into an 8-3 deficit. Your Fernando Salas has been summoned from the bullpen the as he'll Men. do so to start the Number eighth. 59, Fernando Salas. Riding in once again, Stephen Vogt. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He's set. Here's the three and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Full count. Here it comes. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. That's popped up now towards short right field. Walker is there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. Third baseman number three. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Ready for another shot now. Trevor Plouffe for his career in this matchup. Two for three. Bases are empty, one man out. In there, one and two now. One and two. Hard hit ball to second. And that is through into right field for a single. Well, he came to play this game. That base hit right there hit really hard. That makes him three for four on the day. What a day for him. Standing in now. Adam Rosales way in front of that fastball. And this is fouled at the plate. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And it ain't coming back. And gone up into the second deck.
It's a two run shot to straight away left number 14 on the season as this is now a seven run ball game. Well he got a curveball and that's the one pitch if you catch it right it is tailored to go out of the ballpark. It gets that little loop to you you take the swing up on it like he did right here and that ball travels out of the park. Into the box now Matt Joyce mm, right down the shoot that time one and two. Here's the one and two. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two-run shot, but that and that was a good indication Liam to me Hendrick. that he isn't You're letting it get to him. He went right and after him for the strikeout. Alejandro Deaza will get the call Alejandro here as he'll hit for the Deaza. pitcher. Bases are empty here with two men out. Skied into straightaway right. Bruce will get there and he puts it away to retire the side but the athletic strike for two both coming on this two run home run bottom of the eighth coming up it's the A's 10 and the Mets three You're John Axford comes on to start the inning and he'll have a huge lead Number to work 61. with John Axford ready for another chance Wilmer Flores He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And that slider must have been low. It's ball three. There's Jose Reyes. He waits on deck. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. Over two with a walk for him so far. Here's the one and one delivery. The high fastball is in there. Well, with the leadoff man getting on right there, Matt, they are falling so far behind. They have to capitalize. They have to get some runs to get back in this thing. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Grounded to the right. And trouble aboard now is that's a base hit for Reyes. But you can't be too upset giving up a base hit on that one. I mean, the ball was out of the zone. You had two strikes on the hitter. He chased a bad ball. He just got a base hit. Sometimes that happens. Stepping up now, Michael Conforto. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. None out, runners at first and second. Now a pickoff play at second, and he'll dive back in safely. Swing and a soft liner, and that's through into center field. Base hit, the throw to the plate. And he can't hang on to the ball here at home plate. And to score, the runner from second. Well, Matt, he's homered in this game. Drives in a run right there. This is third oh, RBI in the ball five. game. He's doing his part. David. Now at the plate, David Wright. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. A 1-1 one one count. Here's the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Davis is under it. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. One out and a runner on second base. Outside, two and one. He's set, and the two-one pitch. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds at two and two.
right side, hit hard. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Well, let me explain to you why they held him up. I mean, you get the runner on second base, you get the base hit, but when you're down by as much as they are, you can't force another out right there in that situation. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. In now, Neil Walker. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. Ready to deliver the one and two. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Well, that's back to back breaking balls. He's able to foul that one off. Will they come back with a third? Here he comes again, one, two. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. One, two pitch is a curveball that misses two and two. Oh, I got to give advantage to hitter in this AB, man. He's seen a lot of pitches. He's sitting two, two. Anytime you've seen this many pitches, you now have him measured really well. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Here's another 2 2. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. A 2 and 2 count. Here's the pitch. And we'll see another pitch here as this ball's chopped foul at home plate. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And that is into right field, the base hit. And the run is in to score from third. Wow, well, that's a combination of a little bit of speed and luck. Oh, he pulls the ball into the hole right there. You're going to drive in that run, and they have no play on you. Your attention, please. So a new pitcher set to come on now, and we'll get an appearance from the hard-throwing right-hander Santiago Casilla. Into the box, Jay Bruce. Never tempted the swing of that ball down low. It's ball three. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, Whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. Now batting. Pitcher. You'll in a cesspits. We'll grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 52. You Now some action in that Oakland bullpen as it looks like a lefty started to get it going down there. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Boom is there to make the catch and the side is retired. So they pick up three runs on four hits. No errors and two men left on base. We've played eight full. The A's lead it 10 to 6. Josh Edgen. Enters from the now pen to start the, the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Into the box, Rajay Davis. He's doubled and singled in four at-bats in this contest. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But this one will bend Foul had plenty of distance though as it landed in the upper deck. That's a good pitch right there, believe it or not. You got the change up and you got him out in front. Yeah, he had a foul ball home run, but that's what it is. Foul ball. And Reyes will take this one for the first out. Now in the box, Marcus Simeon. 
He went deep earlier and he's two for four to this point. Here it comes on one and one. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. One out, nobody on. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Sent out to straightaway center field. And plenty of room out there for Granderson. And there are two away now. Chris Davis will stand in as he's accounted for one of the biggest at-bats of the game so far. A three-run shot back in the fifth that's really energized his ball club. Liner towards second. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. First baseman, Mark Tanner. Standing in now, Mark Tanner. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Ready on one and two. Nope. And that one stayed too low apparently. He's set. Here's the two two. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. It's a two run shot to straight away left number 11 for him on the season as it's now a six run ball game. It's getting pretty comical now their sixth home run of the game and they're not done yet. They say hitting is contagious and apparently that applies to the long ball. It's looking like batting practice out there. Stepping in now, Stephen Vogt as he lifts it in the air to right field. Bruce has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. One more shot coming up will go to the bottom of the ninth. The A's lead this one 12 to 6. Digging in, Rene Rivera. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Yeah. Inside corner called to strike one and two. Fouled straight back. Oh, he might have got away with one two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately he just fouled it off. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch and he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two. And now pitch on the way. Still hanging with him another good swing to keep it going. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. Well, he finds himself in danger walking the eight hitter right here. That's just something you don't want to do. You walk the eight hitter, the nine hitter can bunt him over, starts a big inning, he can hit and run. It could lead to a lot of problems. Mine to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. What an at bat. Eight pitches, and on the eighth pitch, he gets no, a fastball and gets a base hit. Play. That's what you Wilmer. call seeing everything right. the pitcher has to offer. Before the 0 2, a uh, look to first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Into the box now, 
Wilmer Flores. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Man, when you're winning on the road, the last thing you want to do is give the home crowd a reason to get back into it. Well, when you hit the leadoff, man, that's exactly what you do. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. Pickoff move to second. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Very weakly on the ground. First and second here with nobody out. And the knuckle curved that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. Now batting. Stepping in, Michael Conforto. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Now a spin and a throw back to second. Here it is on three and one. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Let's go one more time, baby. A big lead off a second. Now the pitch in the dirt, but swung on and missed. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. A throw behind the runner at second. Two down runners at first and second. Now a spin and another throw back to second. Into the box, David Wright. And that's taken for strike two as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, in hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. 12 to 6, the final tally here. The Oakland A's slugged their way to victory with 15 hits. Daniel Mengden earns his eighth victory of the season. Robert Gesellman was slapped with eight earned runs as he takes the loss. Santiago Casilla hammers down the five-out save, his third of the campaign. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, three hours and 57 minutes. Our paid attendance this afternoon at City Field, 45,000. One ball and one strike. Fastball punched on the ground. Utley kicks it. Still plenty of time. Wow! Utley sprawled in the dirt, flipped it back, and accurately to Gonzalez for an out. Oh, what a play. High deep drive into left field. Down into the corner again. Then Attendi near the wall. Leaps. He's hung up. Did he catch it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He took one back. A spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up.